In order to fulfill your destiny, you need God's supernatural favor. Stay tuned for God's favor for increase on in your life next on Paula Today. Today. Welcome to Paula Today. I believe I have a word in my spirit from God for you. The Spirit of God is saying increase and favor. And favor is so necessary for you to fulfill your destiny. You see, favor takes you from your current state to your destined state. Favor is worth a thousand days of labor. And people will often say, well, favor ain't fair. But favor is very fair. John, there is a clear pathway in God's word how you activate and possess the favor of God. And what is favor? And how do you obtain it? And what does it do for you? Just before we get into the word, and I, I believe that I'm here to prophesy to you, to speak to you, just before I declare favor and increase over you. John, I know you have a praise report and we love how you send in your prayer requests. We pray, we bombard heaven. Make sure that you go to paulawhite.org and also give us your praise reports. What, this, who's this from? This one is written from Corey. Paula White Ministry has been my strength and hope during mm. very difficult times, during my grieving moments when I lost my sister wow. due to ovarian cancer. Also, during very dark moments when I relapsed to both drugs and alcohol. Nonetheless, words cannot express my sincere adoration for the woman of God wow. that he has used to help pick me up and start believing in myself again. My call to ministry my sustainability on this Christian journey. Praise the Lord for Paula White Kane, a true, true ambassador for the kingdom of God. Wow. All I can say is to God be all the glory. And Corey, I just pray that God continue to raise you up, to stabilize you. And anyone who feels lost right now, anyone who's struggling with their identity, anyone who feels like life is just not even worth living, the devil is a liar. God has a plan for you and on the other on the other side of your pain, some of your greatest blessing, your greatest ministry comes from the places you've led. I thank God for all our covenant partners who enable us to take the gospel to 190 countries and to preach the word of God. And this is the word of the Lord for you. When we look at Luke chapter two, we see something in verse 52, it says that Jesus Christ, who is fully God and fully man. So here is the full human that is increasing in favor and stature and wisdom. And I believe that God has increased in those three areas for you. It says in Luke chapter 2, 6, 52, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, which means maturity, and favor both with God and with man. I declare you're about to increase in favor, increase in your maturity, increase in the wisdom of God. See, when I say increase is coming to you, it means that you're about to advance. It means to accelerate the progress of your growth, to move forward. You're not gonna be stuck any longer. Whatever's been trying to hold you back and delay you, it's not going to be able to hold you in the name of Jesus. It means to raise to a higher rank, both socioeconomic, to have a shift, to bring forward. It means to propel, to cut in advance, to increase, to give provision. It's the hastening of a process to bring about a desired um, in. He advanced and increased in wisdom. I want you to get these three things, in stature and in favor. So there are three areas I want to focus on, that God's going to increase you in wisdom, in stature, and in favor. Let's look at favor first off. Like I said, favor is a supernatural path that God sets out in His Word people will go, well, they think it's something random, like maybe just God favors this person or this person got lucky. No such thing as luck. No such thing. There is such a thing as blessed. No such thing as luck. So when we look, we go, how does this happen? Because favor is a divine current that it transports you from ordinary to extraordinary, from where you are from this current season to a supernatural season. So Favor is the current that transports you. You see, favor will open doors that no man can shut. Favor will position you before strategic people. Favor will do for you what your resume, your name, your education, nothing else can do for you. And favor is a necessary agent 
for you to fulfill your destiny. See, when God destines you, it's always bigger than your capabilities, your abilities. But the favor of God has to come upon you. Remember, Esther was favored. Out of all the 126 providences, God had already chosen Esther. And because she was obedient, to the word of the Lord, obedient to it. She was favored by the king. And when she stood before the king, he called her in and she could speak as an oracle of God. Favor gives you undeserved access. Like it's something that you can't earn. It's something that you're not even qualified for, but it puts you before the right people at the right place at the right time. And so favor opens up supernatural doors. Favor means this. It has multiple meanings in the Greek and Hebrew. It means to delight in to satisfy a debt, to bend or to stoop in kindness, to have mercy or graciousness, to be liberal to. It means to have privilege. It means to be partial to. So when you're favored, it means you're privileged, that there's partiality towards you. That's what the favor of God will do. So when you begin to see the favor of what favor will do, it takes you from that place that you've been to that place that God is destined. Now, what's important here is as Jesus increased, it means to cut one's way or to drive one ways forward. He increased in wisdom, stature, and favor. It's an imperfect active. What does that mean? He kept cutting his way forward as though he was going through a forest as the pioneers did. In other words, every impediment, he was able to continue to go forward. It means that each stage of his development, he was perfect for that stage. He had a proportion of God's wisdom, God's favor for the season of maturity that God was releasing him into. I'm telling you, you will not be denied. It will not be delayed. God is getting ready to increase you in favor, increase you in wisdom. And I'm gonna come back and give you the pathway to how you obtain favor with both God and with man. In order to fulfill your destiny, you'll need to discover how to activate God's supernatural provision of favor. Favor is a divine current that it transports you from ordinary to extraordinary. Paula's informative two-disc series, Favor, God's Formula for Undeserved Access, is available for your ministry gift of any size when you call, write, text to give, or click on paulawhite.org. And for your ministry gift of $50 or more, in addition, you'll also receive Paula's four CD series, Increase, God's Path to Favor, to propel you forward into increase in your life. You will not be denied, it will not be delayed. God is getting ready to increase you in favor, increase you in wisdom. Increase, God's Path to Favor is available along with Paula's insightful book, The 10 Words That Will Improve Your Life. Receive all three resources in today's favor bundle for your ministry gift of $50 or more, or Paula's two-disc set, Favor, God's Formula for Undeserved Access, for your ministry gift when you call, write, text to give, or click on paulawhite.org. Request yours today. We want to say a huge thank you. You make it possible for us to literally feed millions upon millions of pounds of food that we've done so far this year. Every single week, we do feedings of approximately 30,000 plus pounds. Think about that. Taking care of the very least of these, being the heart, the hands of Jesus Christ. Thank you for partnering with Paula White Ministries. You are the agent of change. God bless you and may God richly reward you. Thank you for being such a blessing here to us at Paula White Ministry. If you'll continue to help me hold up the hands of those that are the least of these, you can see the great works, the humanitarian works that we're doing, and that is through your generous giving. So make sure you call that toll-free number, write the P.O. box, or go to the website. Well, let's look at favor, because remember, favor is absolutely necessary. God is increasing you in wisdom, in stature, in maturity, and in favor. And favor is necessary for you to fulfill the destiny that God has on your life. We talked, there's a clear pathway to God's favor. So people wanna know, what is it? Well, let's look at this. For his anger endureth for a moment, but in his favor is life. Now we already know that Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. According to John 10:10. 10, 10, so Jesus' mission statement to you is like, I'm come to give you life, one that is superior, one that is 
is greater in quantity and quality. And so the word says that his anger endures for a moment, but in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh with the morning. So if life is the goal, you know, Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. It says in favor is life. So how do I find that favor? How do I get favor? Proverbs chapter eight, verse 35. And this is where there is a clear path to getting favor. Favor is not an accident. Favor is not a coincidence. Favor doesn't just randomly fall on some people. I want you to hear by the spirit of God right now. It says, for whoso findeth me, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. So the Bible is very clear that whosoever finds me, we've got to see what is me in Proverbs 8.35. We'll go back to Proverbs 8.1 and it provides the answer. It said, doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. So whosoever findeth me, which is understanding and wisdom, findeth favor and obtains life. So you say, okay, God wants you to have life, life more abundantly. God, my life is just not abundant. You have to have the favor of God. Favor is found in wisdom and understanding. Well, well, let's get a deeper understanding of that because if favor is found in wisdom and understanding or the entry to favor, I've got to understand what is wisdom and what is understanding. Job 28 verse 28 says that if I find wisdom and understanding, then I'll obtain favor says, and unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord. Hear me what I'm saying. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil, that is understanding. I was just having a conversation with someone. People can be around you all the time, but they make decisions, decisions to choose life or decisions to choose death on a daily basis. Decisions to honor God, decisions to dishonor God. Decision to put one foot in the world, one foot in the kingdom. Decisions to stay and just play with evil or to depart and shun evil. You see, God says all the time, there are choices before you. You you are a free agent. You have the ability to make a decision to serve God. And he says, the fear of the Lord, the Hebrew is yirah. And it literally means the reverence of God, to revere God. Webster says it's to honor or to respect that is felt, that is manifested, a profound respect, mingled with love and awe. So it's not just like, oh, I fear you, God. It's not I'm afraid. It's a reverence. It's an honor. It's an obedience. So favor comes very clearly from your obedience to do what? To fear the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil, that is understanding. So wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. That is the reverence of God. That's a respect that is felt and manifested, not just to come in and go, oh, I'm at church, I did you a favor, God. No, it's I enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I bring his tithe, it's his tithe. I honor you because you said to, I do not forsake the assembling myself together. I choose to walk the path of life. I choose to bless my enemies. I choose to bring my body under subjection. We could keep on going with all the choices, all the things to depart from evil. Think about this and to revere God, to obey God. It boils down to a simple, a yes, Jesus became a son according to the book of Hebrews because he learned obedience, the Bible says. So from this, let's look at at how we really begin to understand. I'm gonna give you wisdom because if the wisdom is, is the fear of the Lord, Let's look at some of the pillars of wisdom. Let me break it down even a little bit more. Wisdom is as as infinite as God himself. As we increase, it increases. So understanding refers a lot to uh, the ability to arrange facts. It's departing from evil. It's taking knowledge, which are facts, and having the ability to arrange that. That's right, that's wrong. That's God, that's good, that's evil. When we begin to have an ability to arrange those things, understanding has to do with insight. Knowledge is taking in the word of God. Wisdom is putting out the word of God. Knowledge accumulates facts. Wisdom is the correct application of those facts. So as we get in God's word, we get God's wisdom. It's the fear of the Lord. If you wanna be wise, you have to be able to apply the word. 
James chapter 1, verse 22. But be you doers. The Greek word means a performer of the word, an imitator of the word. You see, it's not that difficult. If I never get in the word of God, if I don't know God's word, then I'm going to perish. It, it's, real, it's really, it's not a, a hard thing. See, we just want favor like we want um, a lot of winning. Let it be my lucky ticket. That's not how it works. The favor of God comes upon you because you're in his word. You are studying his word. You're rightly dividing his word. You're consuming his word. You're filling your heart with his word. You're renewing your mind. Romans chapter 8 talks about having a renewed mind that you're not conformed to this world, but you're transformed by the renewing, the renovation of the word of, of your mind that you take out the old and you're putting in the new. And as you're doing that, his word is getting in you. It's changing you. You see, your nature's changed. Old things have passed away when you got born again and you become a new creation in Christ. But now you've got to get rid of the, the way you thought, the way you saw things, the way you did things, because all behavior comes out of belief. So you take on a new belief system. You say, if God says this, how does God tell me to honor my husband? Well, I'm to submit. What does that mean? It means that you're the head of the household. Well, I'm not going to submit. I think I'm better at you. I think I make better decisions. I think I'm smarter than you. I think I've got more money than you. I think I'm prettier than you. Are you kidding? The Bible says submit. When it comes to the ultimate decision maker of our household, you carry that authority. You carry that responsibility. I can share my thoughts with you. I can share my heart with you. I can share my desires with you. But ultimately, you cover our household. And I come in submission, alignment. It means I lower myself up under you. It doesn't mean, it, it doesn't matter if I make more money. It doesn't matter if I don't. It doesn't matter if I'm cuter or not, younger or older. All those things are irrelevant. I'm picking in just one little example. So we can go on with thing after thing. Here's what God's saying. That wisdom is not just something like you put on this thinking cap. Oh, let me put on my learning cap. Wisdom is I'm getting in the word of God and applying the word of God. So a wise man has the combination of knowledge, facts, and arrangement of those facts working in their life. And this is what produces the fear of God. Because the fear of God's not I'm afraid, it's reverence. I honor you. I obey you. I do what you say, God. Not because I feel like it, because my flesh might feel like doing something totally contradictory, but because I will it. And what's the result of that? The result is favor. My household's going to be blessed. My children are going to be blessed. My grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, my finances are going to be blessed. God's going to open doors that no man can shut. There's, there's seven pillars to wisdom that I could go through right now. But I want you to really get in here that the, the fear of the Lord and departing from evil that is where you find favor, and that is where you obtain life. In order to fulfill your destiny, you'll need to discover how to activate God's supernatural provision of favor. Favor is a divine current that it transports you from ordinary to extraordinary. Paula's informative two-disc series, Favor, God's Formula for Undeserved Access, is available for your ministry gift of any size when you call, write, text to give, or click on paulawhite.org. And for your ministry gift of $50 or more, in addition, you'll also receive Paula's four CD series, Increase, God's Path to Favor, to propel you forward into increase in your life. You will not be denied, it will not be delayed. God is getting ready to increase you in favor, increase you in wisdom. Increase, God's Path to Favor is available along with Paula's insightful book, The 10 Words That Will Improve Your Life. Receive all three resources in today's favor bundle for your ministry gift of $50 or more, or Paula's two disc set, Favor, God's Formula for Undeserved Access, for your ministry gift when you call, write, text to give, or click on paulawhite.org. Request yours today. I know that God has brought us together, and I want to thank you for helping me preach the gospel in 190 countries to do good, the great works of humanitarian and be the heart, the hands, the feet of Jesus. When you sow a gift of any size, any size, I rarely do this, 
any size whatsoever. And I want you to really pray and seek God to Paula White Ministry by calling that toll-free number, writing the P.O. box, or going to the website. I will rush to you right away. Favor, God's formula for undeserved access. It's a two-disc series. And then if you can give $50 or more, and I pray many can give 500, 5,000, be a blessing to this ministry. You'll not only get the favor, but you'll get increased God's pathway to favor. The four disc series plus 10 words that will impact and change your life. My book, how it just goes through favor and everything else. Get ready for favor, get ready for increase. Why? Because what you make happen for others, God makes happen for you. And every time you give, something supernatural happens. And at Paula White Ministry, there is no way that we could reach the world without your generous prayers and giving. So thank you for being a pillar. Call that toll-free number, write the P.O. box, or go to the website and make sure that you not only get the product, but you make a decision to be an agent of change, that you make a decision to partake, not stand on the sideline, but get in the game and come on and see favor released in your life and increase relief. I decree it and I declare it and it is established. Thank you for being a generous giver. Now here my husband John is to minister to us in song. Oh Lord, lead us into every new season, every new year.
Amen. Woo! You know, can that just be our heart's cry right now? That God will lead us, that God is with us, that God is with you in the name of Jesus. We're just praying over you right now. And I just pray that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, that God will be your light, that He will be your rock, that He will lead you. I feel like there are people that are just kind of been in and out, but God's saying, be resolute, come to me. You say, maybe you don't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And, but God didn't leave us in that state. He sent away when He sent His Son, Jesus Christ. And God wants to lead you into His goodness. He wants to lead you into His truth. He wants to lead you into His abundant life. You say, how do I walk that walk? Receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 says, if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that He's the Son of God, we'll be saved. Not only spend eternity with Him, but we'll be delivered, we'll be rescued. I don't care where you've been, what you've done, how many times you've done it, who you've done it with. When you say, God, I need you, I want you, and I receive you, He wipes the slate. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, I come to you in Jesus' mighty name. Forgive me for all my sin. Say, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. You know, God is going to take you into a good place. I want to do life with you. John wants to do life with you. We're here for you. Make sure that you connect with us. Go to paulawhite.org. There's a free digital download of what it is to be saved, the building blocks of faith. Then I'd love just to partner with you. And you say, what do you mean? Get you a daily devotional. I'd love to do life. Hear your prayer requests because we bombard heaven. Follow us on social media. Make sure that you connect with us because it's so important. And if you don't have a pastor, I'd love, we'd love to be your pastors and to minister to you and see you grow and increase in favor and wisdom and stature in Jesus' name. Be blessed and we'll see you next time. We wanna say a huge thank you. You make it possible for us to literally feed millions upon millions of pounds of food that we've done so far this year. Every single week, we do feedings of approximately 30,000 plus pounds. Think about that. Taking care of the very least of these, being the heart, the hands of Jesus Christ. Thank you for partnering with Paula White Ministries. You are the agent of change. God bless you and may God richly reward you. has been made possible through the faithful prayers and generous support of our partners and friends in this viewing area.